Revelation. Yo, what's popping? It's Sunday. Come closer. Come closer. Drop everything. Let's do this real quick. Let's talk about rock pulls. Let's talk about what's happening in the market, in the world. Whatever matters, all right? My two cents. It's therapy time, okay? So let's do this as quick as possible. And whatever I say, take it with a grain of salt, but don't just take it too lightly either because, um, yeah, you shouldn't, okay? Let's do it. So first of all, let's talk about some of the prices. What's happening? Worldcoin. Wow, still stuck at... That's not bad, man. Fascinating, right? If you look at it, I didn't expect this to hold at this level while literally the entire market is grabbing right now. And if you pay attention, I have some of the stock picks. I mix it up with crypto. Maybe I'll separate it sometimes later. But why not, right? I have some Palantir. I wanted to get some pins. I still remember. I don't know if I should talk about them right now, but since it's there, just appeared out of nowhere, you have this Tesla, Amazon, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is like insane, man. Oh man, just wish knew about this. Not just because I, it's, a, it's a gamble. It's because I'm into tech. I love creating stuff, involves GPU, video creation, all that stuff. And, but nope, we don't, we don't see these things because um, we are too, okay, our mind is too occupied with all the shills, the top influencers. Matter of fact, when I say top influencers, I need to create a separate video. It, it's going to be really brutal. You people make us, right? You make us, you break us. You, you consume our content. So you decide who you want to take to this level or who you don't. But no, the bad dudes are still in this level. Who do you blame? Me or you? Well, I'm doing my part. You do yours, I guess, right? Anyways, let's get back, all right? So this is what's happening. I'm going to be coming back to this chart sometimes later. Because right now, just wanted to show you some of the... What, whatever is happening and uh, how the, it re correlates to the market right now. So coming back to it, if you look at Bitcoin, right? Let me see, actually see. Oh man, EVMOS. EVMOS, it's just going to stay there. It's probably going to drop a little further because people are cash... Well, the even the APR has gone down, but still it generates some fees for people who are staking it. And then they will either hold the bags, tokens, until it moons, or they will just cash out the profits. Basically the the rewards so unless some new funds money come in at this moment when there's a fight between so many projects man it's it's brutal so yeah thread accordingly and uh wow i can't even find bitcoin i'm in so much stuff in here it's right here so sitting at twenty nine thousand three hundred, back and forth grabbing and by the way if you don't think this is not ma this is not manipulation to some some level price manipulation i don't know man what to say Think about it and don't get overexcited. And I heard um, on the other side, Kronos, Crow, Crypto.com. Now they're the main exchange in Netherlands, I believe so. Don't expect any moons, okay? Oh, wait, hold on. That's the moon here? Wow. Whoever just thought, that, that's what it is, right? You bought the news and now somebody just dumped it and that, that's expected. There are people holding bags and as soon as they get some liquidity, they will try to exit. Understand this. I'm just letting you know, all right? So BTC, and then we have ETH. So literally, people are going to flock to BTC and ETH, whatever. In other tokens, even if they see some kind of crazy stuff going on, they'll take the money and dump it on this or take it out of it and do whatever, okay? So there are other tokens I want to discuss later on. Arbitrum, Atom, it's just too much drama stuff. I will come back to this. Um, Juno and other tokens in the ecosystem. I will actually talk about this. These are some of the things I'm actually going to plan. Um, at this moment, I'm creating an SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. Once I have those straight, Within the next several weeks, I will have a schedule and it'll be just back and forth, man. It'll be, it'll be brutal, all right? So get excited. And I, I could use support because, like I said, without people support, without people consuming my stuff, there's no point producing content, man. I know someone's consuming it. I know you're watching, you silly. Just Don't just be selfish. Just pass it to your mom, pass it to your kids, all right? I'll try to keep it as PG-13 as possible, all right? All right, so this is gone. I want to talk about MTV real quick. Because that was actually the topic, but I wanted to show you everything else. So, talking about MTV, where is this? And on the other side, I said Chainlink. I also hold Chainlink. I remember getting into it when it was about a dollar or so. That was way back. I did sell some to get into EVMOS. I don't know if that was a good decision. We'll figure that out sometimes later. But Chainlink has some stuff going on, being the Oracle and then CCIP, which again, I'll talk about some other time. Okay. Doge, don't expect Elon to do anything right yet. Again, I... He might because he comes, he can do whatever he wants, man. Listen, that's what is, um, USA, amazing land of opportunities and also land of whatever the F you want to do, basically. Sam Bankman Freed, yeah, things happen. And law in this country is kind of twisted into some level, man. But yeah, justice needs to be served, all right? 
truth shall prevail. So now, without giving too much of a motivation kind of lecture, this is what happened in MTV recently. All right. I'm not going to go onto Twitter or any of the projects just to see what's happening. I heard and I have, I have a feeling, okay? My feelings are pretty strong based on what I've seen and stuff. And feel free to verify. Don't trust. Go verify. And I've seen this based on several months and years of experience, okay? Someone said, Mar what was his name? The dude, the VC, Michael Arrington. XR, XR, um, what? He's an XRP guy. He's this guy, multivac guy. Yes, back then, I still remember when I saw him, his logo on MT MTV's uh, website, I guess. But I wouldn't take that as like someone, believe it or not, at, at this moment, when all this weird news comes out that, oh, Mark and the team is working behind the scene. Hey, multivac, I'm doing this video for you peeps, man. Because in the beginning, actually, matter of fact, you people got me some subscribers, remember? Because I used to talk about multivac. That's how I got started. And matter of fact, I don't know if I hold any multivac, but I have some worms. I have some worm NFT. I got rid of some at a very decent level. It was insane. I did play on the MTV Ponzi field, if you remember. There was a DEX. I forgot the name of the DEX. There was so much going on that time. Everybody was trying to cash in on the ICO IDOs and Ponzi's, literally. And I was playing on it. I wasn't rug pulling. I was playing on it as a consumer, unfortunately, and also learning. And that's why I'm able to give you some back based on my experience. Okay. So MTV, wow, literally kind of double if you pay attention. But yeah, sure. If somebody believed in it so much, why do you see all this? Look at the spike, the candles here, right? Look at this. Literally someone just dumped right on spot. S same, same here. Some the new spot came on, right? And the, again, the retails, they will behave according to what they see some, most of the time. And then it goes up, boom. So again, don't, I don't, I don't believe in this hype. Matter of fact, when everything is going on in this world, I see things differently. You can do whatever you want. That's up to you. If, if you are playing this game, this, this depends on you. You might be holding bags, life savings, whatever. So I'm not here to make a decision on your behalf. You probably, family depends on it or whatsoever. So you play according to your level and your goals. But for me, my whole game plan changed. But matter of fact, I still see potential. Not yet. I see potential to buy. I'm not going to be, I'm not interested in leveraging day trading and all this stuff because I mentioned this in previous video. I'm building a business. I enjoy doing what I do, creating videos and all this stuff. But I am here for the long term accumulation. Okay. And I believe in crypto, especially when you see all the CBDC and privacy violation, all rubbish. And yes, I'm here to stay. All right. So this is what's happening. And uh, if MTB does awesome, awesome. But at this moment, you can just still buy and hold. I don't see anybody to just literally. Unless, like, like I said, it's a um, self-fulfilling prophecy. When t collectively 10, 20, 30 people believe in one thing and they start putting money, they see the pump, everybody sees the pump and it goes up. This is a very interesting topic, which relates to the same thing with subscriber base and influencers, confluencers. Have to have a separate topic for this, man. That's why I have several channels, man. There's so much to talk about and actually learn from what, whatever is happening in this world. All right. It's not just take information out of your, you know, back and just putting it out there. It's actually learning, analyzing, applying, and seeing based on logic, oh, if it makes sense, that's how it is, right? If, if I, there's a problem, if there's 10 possibilities, variables, I isolate the problem, remove one by one, and just to see which is the real problem. That's what I do, basically, personally. And I believe that's what you all should do. If you follow me, follow my work, you should do that, all right? Don't just assume things or base it on whatever you feel. Oh, I feel this is right. I believe this is right. Nobody cares about the belief system. Oh, well. It's important. But if you can prove it, it's just waste. It's just, it's all gap. You know that? It's, it's like literally all these influencers and stuff. It's all talk. Not much of work. It's all talk. Hey, I'm going to create the biggest metaverse in this world. Matter of fact, you, you've seen that, right? The imposters I put out there, the $63 million in, uh, video, whatever. And I'm going to do another video on Super Farm Elliot Trades. That's going to be my climax. All right? That's going to be my um, finale, basically. I'm going to just end it once and for all. Unless there's more scams he comes out with in the future, just like crypto, uh, CoffeeZilla, he's following Logan Paul. He's doing follow-ups on Logan Paul, right? literally, trying to keep him accountable, right? That's it. If Sam Bank Bankman, so-called SBF, alleged, gets away, so-called, right, with billions of scam or whatever. So we are not here to try uh, trying to put pe people behind bars if that happens, awesome. But if it doesn't, actually, we are trying... One people going behind bars versus thousand people educating themselves, being aware and not getting scammed. Tell me which one's better. I don't have any personal agenda with any scammers or anybody. So if I can help 100 people save their money versus the guy not going to jail, dude, I, I win. I don't need that guy to go to jail or whatever. I just want you guys to know what's happening. Be aware and make logical and proper decision. All right. 
So that's it. That's my pep talk of Sunday. Now, coming back to the news, let's talk about some rug pulls. Kanagi finance rug pulls for over $2 million. Just $2 million? Man, I've seen billions. I mean, we should have billions of rug pulls now, right? By this time, unfortunately. Meme coin launch by Paul 0x cost traders at least $2.2 million. Pond, another. DeFi Labs rug pulls for $1.6 million. Coin spat hacked for $37.3 million. $37. Rel Reland exploited for $3.4 million. IEGD token rug pulls for $1.14 million. Al Fapo hacked for more than $60 million. Elio Turd created a metaverse and rug pulled, slow rug pulled for $65 million. Oh my god, dude, where is that news? Nobody's putting that news there. Why? Because that dude just blocks people and keeps, he's in silence. He doesn't flex or shows off. Literally goes around, probably just creates shell companies, allegedly, and maybe buying some Lambos in other countries or in dystopian countries, right? You never know, man. That's exactly the point. You have to understand what, what they're doing behind the scenes. It's hard to understand just by looking at somebody and judging them. Oh, he must be rich. Oh, he must be poor. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, it's just our belief system. So anyways, now coming back to this, this is how I'm going to just end it, okay? I read some of the news just be and here's another thing. Just because I read all the news doesn't mean it's accurate, okay? I do my best to cross-check and fact-check and all this stuff, but please do your research. Coindesk, sometimes they get bought up. They get bought by some big companies who will probably manipulate their, for their views and profits. Understand that, all right? I don't know who owns uh, Decrypt or if it's independent or whatever as of now, but yes, I do read news and I, have, I use my own uh, logical judgment and also based on my research, what I see out there, I'll tell you, okay? So... Okay, sure. Um, for example, if they say, hey, a bull run is back, and based on what I'm seeing right now, sure, fake news, maybe. But um, yeah, Web3 game promises players real golden eggs for in-game NFTs. What? Real golden eggs? CryptoZoo 2.0 is back. Listen, ladies and gents, this is never going to stop. All right? That's why exactly what I said. Elio Turd, all those dudes, they're never going to stop. They will just keep milking, milking under their billion dollars, and they will pass it over to their kids and tell their kids to do the same, like scam, scam, scam. And all we can do, all right, I'll, that's my mission, Rebel, is make a billion dollars, be powerful enough, all right, so I can actually bring back some sh uh, stuff. So if I made a billion dollars, all right, I'll give back a half a uh, million. No, uh, sorry, half a billion. Yeah, that's fine, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'll, I'll just stick with, I'll keep 500 million, man. That's it. Is, is, fair enough. I don't want to be like SBF, promising I'm going to donate everything. I'll donate 50%. All right, 60%. All right, deal? All right, cool. So now subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.